It is time to go into the Fox and News vault. We are going back to when moonshining was on the decrease from the 60s, but some former shiners turned to growing marijuana instead. Bill Capo with this story. Sites like this former still are becoming rare these days. Alcohol, tobacco, and firearms agents say this still in West Mobile County was broken up and one person arrested over a month ago. Special Agent Peter Willemose says few people are making moonshine anymore. Now his agents find about one or two stills a month as compared to the 10 to 15 they used to break up each month in the 1960s. It is becoming common for them to find patches of marijuana growing on or near the sites of former stills being cultivated by one-time moonshiners. The reason is that moonshine is more expensive to make now. It is no longer as socially acceptable as it once was, and there are health reasons. Well, all the old people that would work make it about dead and gone. And the young generation won't, won't uh, make it. They're too uh, lazy to work. They want to fool with pot, something ain't no work in. Think there'll be much moonshine available? No, there ain't much available now in 10 years, and now there won't be any at all. Making moonshine is an art, if you can call it that, that has always been governed by traditions. It's been passed down from father to son. Yet now, if we're to believe people like Marshall Young, those traditions are being broken in favor of more profitable products like marijuana. Perhaps that's just another symbol of how much this country is being affected by change. This is Bill Capo for Channel 10 Newsbeat.